Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Vanessa. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm gonna be doing a graphic floating liner look with a really beautiful iridescent duochrome greenish blue purplish situation going on. This is a perfect look if you want to try a graphic liner because the colors are pretty similar so it's not going to be like you're jumping out the window with this look. So without further ado let's get into it and let's do some makeup. So as always we have one eye already done and we're going to work with the right eye and I'm going to start with Dragonfly. This is from the Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity Palette. It's really really pretty and it's one of my favorite colors in the entire palette and I promise you like I'm done using this palette for looks. Well I'm not done. I can't make that promise but next video we will not be using this palette. So I'm taking a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm really just going to pack this on to the lid. And I'm kind of just tapping it on at first. And after I get the amount I want, then we're going to go ahead and do like a little bit of sweeping motions just to make sure it's nice and smooth. I have to tell you guys, like my skin lately, I don't know what's up with it, but what well, do kind of know? So I have had hopefully soon but currently have skin writing like google skin writing i promise you it's, it's not terribly disgusting um and it's some sort of allergic reaction no one really knows why so i've been taking allergy medication but i think the allergy medication has sort of been messing with my skin so i have like some little breakouts that are popping up but hopefully everything will get settled down and I'll be back to normal soon because it's been weeks and I'm over it. I'm just tired and I'm over it. So now I'm just gonna sweep. So I didn't clean up my brush. I'm just using what's left just to kind of sweep it around the eyeball. I'm taking a little pointed fluff brush and I'm gonna pick up just a tiny bit of dragonfly. You can see there is not much on the brush. I mean, you can barely see if there's anything on the brush. And we're just going to extend this out into a wing shape. I'm also dragging some of what's in that outer corner out towards the wing shape. And I don't want it to be dramatic, so it's not like you're really going to be able to tell that it's a wing shape, but I also just don't want the shadow to stop right there. Like I want it to kind of be blended out. It's always so cold in my apartment. I think, I don't know what it is with our air, but we can't get it right. And then my nose runs like I'm a little baby because I'm cold. I mean, if that's the biggest problem I have in life, then that's not really a problem, but I'm gonna go in with Venomous Void. It's this purple shade here. And I'm really just gonna use this very, very lightly to create a little bit of a contour in this crease area. So not a lot on the brush, again, just a tiny bit, and just kind of carving out a bit of a contour shape. I'm sort of following like the natural contour of my eye, and I'm also gonna drag that out at the end for that wing shape that we have kind of going. I feel like I'm always doing a wing shape. I need to do some more shapes. So I think next video I'm going to do that. So let me know if there's a shape that you would like to see or like a look you'd like to see and we can do that because you know sometimes you get into doing the same thing in different versions. And again we're following kind of that natural contour of the eye and just dragging it outward at the end cleaned off my brush and I'm just going to blend it a little more just to make sure it's nice and seamless. The star of this show is the liner and I'm using a gel eyeliner from LA Girl Cosmetics and this is in the shade Mermaid Teal Frost. Like it's mermaid, it's teal, and it's frosty. Get into it. And we're doing kind of like a graphic shape. I've had this eyeliner for a while and I hadn't used it and then when I saw Dragonfly I was like bet these two are gonna look so nice together and I'm just using an eyeliner brush and dipping it into the gel you can see like 
this gel is really, really soft. So you can even see like as I'm pressing my brush into it, how it's creating those little like divots in the gel. So it's really soft and easy to work with. And when I'm working with a gel liner, I also like to get a little bit on the sides of the brush. Like you can see how it's on the side. That way, if I'm sweeping with the side, I'm still getting product. So you don't always have to apply it like with the edge. You can see what I mean about the edge or the side, I guess, rather how I'm kind of pressing that down. And that helps you get a nice shape versus only applying it this way, which I like to do for the outer part. Now, while this applies really nicely, I did find that like on the other eye, I had to go over it a couple times just to build up the pigment. So keep that in mind, you know, if you're considering this. But I think it was, I got it on sale at Ulta and I think it was only like, I don't know, a dollar. So for one dollar, it ain't bad. Now I'm just going to drag out the edge just a little bit just to really sharpen that line. We're gonna hit the bottom and sometimes go ahead like this. It looks weird, but it'll help you stretch that bottom part so that you can apply the eyeliner to the bottom without holding your eye. Or you can just hold your eye, but I don't know. I'm extra, I like to do that, so. For the top part of the floating liner, you can see I have like a little bit of a crease fold going on with my particular eye shape. So for me, I like to kind of place it with my eye open so I can place that liner on top of the fold because otherwise, if I look down, right? I look down or stretch my eyelid. If I put this liner here, when I'm looking at you, you're not gonna see it because it's gonna disappear into that fold. So I like to keep my eye open so I can see exactly where I wanna place it so that it will be visible when my eye is open because that's what we want. So I'm just gonna place it right above that eye fold, which also does mean that like, mine is usually a bit thicker, but I'm okay with that. And I'm just gonna bring it into this inner corner area as well. I'm just sharpening it up just a bit. And now the last part is really the easiest. It's just a little floating line right there. So I'm gonna do that face again. That one kind of went into my eye wrinkle a little bit, but it's all right. I'm gonna finish off this look with some mascara and lashes. So I already told y'all I don't spend money on mascara. So again, I'm using my little mini It's Superhero. I'm gonna finish off this look with these Ardell Naked Lashes. They are the 422. And I picked these up on a whim the other day. And they're a really like nice lightweight lash, which I can appreciate because I don't know, I just I've been into lightweight lashes lately. I'm using duo glue to apply them. So this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I have a new video every single Friday and hit that notification bell just so you can be reminded in case you forget. And I will see you next week.